The fate of a group of historic trees at Osgoode Hall now rests with the court. The Law Society of Ontario has asked a court for an injunction that would stop Metrolinx from cutting down the 200-year-old grove as part of preparations for the new Ontario subway line. Metrolinx had begun cutting this morning, but has since paused, awaiting a court decision. This latest move after dozens braved the blistering cold, calling for the transit agency to explore other options for station design and construction. Metrolinx obviously uh, hasn't done that further exploration. It's decided to do what it decided two years ago, to basically destroy the property here at Osgoode Hall. This land has never been developed. How rare is that in downtown Toronto? Archaeology has not been done yet, and there's no need to tr cut these trees down now. In a statement to City News, Metrolink says, pending an expedited hearing, we have agreed to temporarily pause work. Following the hearing, we look forward to proceeding to get this critical transit line built. Councillor Josh Matlow says a compromise between transit and the environment needs to be found. What we're asking Metrolinx to do is stop clear-cutting our city. Work with us. Work with us on a plan to move forward with transit to move forward with preserving our historic trees, to move forward with a plan that respects community. A decision on the injunction was expected late Saturday night or Sunday.